All right, Angel, how many more days of quarantine do we have? Ten. Ten? Ten days. What? So the best way to ensure that you're not passing the virus or that even if you are a carrier, you're not passing it to anyone else is to quarantine yourself for 10 days. Then we can join with our other friends who've created their own cell in their place and they're gonna be quarantined <laughs> for 10 days. Whoa, so. this sounds so crazy. We've been hearing a lot of things about how LA is on the brink of following suit with Italy. New York is gonna self quarantine or do a forced quarantine. I don't know. Yeah, today I wanted to share something that I've been talking about for a little bit. Since we're all going into a quarantine or we're spending a lot of time alone, uh, this is a perfect time to work on your personal development. This is a perfect time to invest in yourself. There is a book that I read back in college and I wanna tell you guys a little story about it. This book single-handedly helped me get on the path to make my first million dollars. I wanna share this book with you because it changed the course of my life completely. First off, the book is called The Law of Success and this is a book by Napoleon Hill. The book was written in the early 1900s. Napoleon Hill was mentored by Andrew Carnegie. The richest men in the world, Andrew Carnegie, Henry Ford, had all of this knowledge about how they amassed wealth. Andrew Carnegie was one of the ones who really wanted to share this knowledge with the world. And he said, it's a shame that these billionaires are taking all of this knowledge with them to the grave. He commissioned Napoleon Hill to interview basically all the most successful people in the United States at that time. I mean, he interviewed Thomas Edison, Firestone, John D. Rockefeller, Charles Schwab, Woodrow Wilson, Edwin Barnes. I mean, the, the list, Theodore Roosevelt. There's so many people that he spent some time with and he basically downloaded all of their success principles and put them in 16 lessons in this book. As you can tell, this book is a little raggedy and old because this is the original book that I ordered off of Amazon when I was in college in 2000. I believe I was in, it was 2014 when I first started reading this book. Highlighted a bunch of it. I've read this book at least five times front to back. I'm gonna start reading it again because it's so magical. Long story short, when I was in college, I was working three jobs at the time. I was filming on the football field and the basketball court at Michigan State. I was making like eight bucks an hour. I was filming with a oil company. They had program at Michigan State that I found out about and I was getting 15 bucks an hour from them. And then I also worked for the student government at the time. I was making like 12 bucks an hour with them. So I was hustling. I was doing a lot of work. I kind of thought to myself, yeah, there's gotta be a better way to make money. Like I'm not gonna be able to just work an hourly job for the rest of my life. And that's not what I wanna do. So I joined a few entrepreneur clubs at Michigan State. There was a handful of people that I met that I ended up becoming close friends with, and one of them, who was kind of like the leader of this club, at the time, he was attending Michigan State, and he was making a quarter million dollars a year, and this is at the age of like 22. So that was the first time I had ever met someone who was around my age that was making six figures. It really didn't make any sense to me. I thought, you know, you had to work until you were in your 50s or 60s to make that kind of money on a yearly basis. So one night I was at a party. I remember seeing this book sitting on top of his dresser. We were all kind of chilling in his room. And I asked him, I said, well, what's this book? And he's like, oh, that book is single-handedly responsible for me earning $50,000 a year to jumping up to $250,000 a year. Okay, so I started flipping through it and he had it highlighted just like I have it now. I left at 2 a.m. to go back to my dorm and I ordered this off of Amazon. It came in a couple days and I started reading it. I was reading this literally 24 seven. I had a lot of beliefs passed down to me about money, about success, about working hard that weren't necessarily serving me. And they weren't gonna be the mindset principles that I needed to make a lot of money and do what I wanted to do. This entrepreneurship club started to have events all over the country and some even all over the world. They ended up bringing me along to film at those events. One of those events was in San Diego, and speaking at that event was a gentleman by the name of Bob Proctor. Shortly after I started reading this book, I actually stumbled across a documentary called The Secret. 
And The Secret taught me all about the law of attraction. So essentially whatever you put out and whatever thoughts you can really truly believe in, you attract, you attract that reality into your life. I got to meet Bob and I had an amazing experience with him and one thing led to another. He ended up offering me a job to work with him, filming for him. And I said, of course, because Bob teaches Napoleon Hill's work. So before I was about to graduate college, I got this job offer. So I decided to leave school, take the job offer, move to Toronto and work for Bob Proctor full time. I would say about six months after I started reading this book, I got a job making six figures right out of college. I was a believer. I believed every single thing in this book because how it transformed my life personally. I mean, I got uh, here I am sitting in college making 8 bucks an hour, 15 bucks an hour, 12 bucks an hour working three jobs, struggling to even pay enough of my tuition and my rent and food to 6 months Later, I'm working with Bob Proctor. I'm flying with him on his private jet. We're going all over the world for his seminars and I'm filming them. I'm getting to absorb this knowledge. I'm just getting a wealth of mentorship. It felt like I was in some movie. About a year into working with Bob, at one of his events, I came up with the idea to create a company called Vibe Source. So that's why I got vibe tattooed on me because that was my first company. I went, I filed an LLC, I started a business, I brought on some employees and we started to do social media consulting, social media advertising. One of the companies that I was working with, we had a product that we did drop shipping for and we made about $700,000 just from the product alone and then we made a bunch of other money from other sources of revenue. I'm not going to personally dive into how much money specifically we made from those things or vibe source started to get hundreds of thousands of followers. I, I got the message when I was at another event that this knowledge in this book needs to go to younger people. So I ended up moving to Los Angeles. I literally booked a flight to Los Angeles. I got an Airbnb five minutes outside of LAX because I knew nothing about California. In our group chat, I can answer any specific questions that you guys have. If you click the link in the description, you can join that. And I'm also going to launch a book club. So if you guys want to read this book with me and with the group, click that link in the description as well. It teaches you how to think like a millionaire. So if you think like a millionaire, you're going to attract what a millionaire attracts. So that's why it's really important to read books like this. So when we're in a quarantine situation like this, this is the perfect time in my opinion to start picking up books and to be really intentional with the time that you're spending. I'll share a little bit more in depth about my story with what happened after I came to Los Angeles in a future video because that's when I met Jake Paul, that's when Jake introduced me to Logan Paul, that's how I got started onto YouTube, but it all started because of this book. I got the idea that, yo, this knowledge in this book is so incredible but this is from the early 1900s, so we gotta find a way to make this sexy. We gotta find a way to make this something that young people are going to consume because I never heard about this through school. I heard about this through an entrepreneurship club at Michigan State. So why did it take me 20 years of my life to learn about a book like this? So I'm gonna share the very last paragraph to this book because I think it kind of shows you what this book is all about. This book is about gaining control of your mind. Mind control is the result of self-discipline and habit. You either control your mind or it controls you. There is no halfway compromise. The most practical of all methods for controlling the mind is the habit of keeping it busy with a definite purpose backed by a definite plan. Study the record of any man who achieves noteworthy success and you'll observe that he has control over his own mind. Moreover, that he exercises that control and directs it towards the attainment of definite objectives. Without this control, success is not possible. So I think that's what's the problem in today's society is too many people do not have control over their minds. We rely on the news, we rely on social media, we rely on so many things outside of us to stimulate our thoughts versus us shutting things out and stimulating our own thoughts. So Angel and I were talking this morning about doing a social media cleanse and really focusing on personal development during this time. And we want you guys to join us on that journey. So 
join the group chat. I'm gonna fill the group chat in with all the details about the book club, and we're gonna start reading this ASAP. So stay tuned for more. I think you guys are really, really gonna enjoy this. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys, thank you so much for the support. We're all going through some really interesting times at the moment, and I think this is here to teach us a lot of different lessons. It's here to allow us to upgrade individually and collectively. All right, I love you Vibe Tribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.